So thank you so much, Rajan, for that introduction, and uh, thank you to the railways for allowing us to do this project, for inviting us to be here, and uh, you know, really, it's been a it's been a blast from the past because as a, as a child, you know, growing up in India a long time ago, uh, going to boarding school every three months from Hyderabad to Coimbatore, and then from Coimbatore taking the Nilgiri Railways to my school. Uh, I have very, very fond memories of traveling a lot by the Indian Railways, but I, I, I kind of took it for granted. You know, what happens is when things are so easy and so nice, you end up taking things for granted. And this project really made me fall completely back in love with the Railways in an emotional level and not a transactional level. And I'm going to try and show you what I mean by that. But before I do that, let me introduce to you what is Google Arts and Culture. As Rajan mentioned to you, Google Arts and Culture is a non-profit, non-commercial initiative that I had the privilege of being part of back in 2011 and I still do it with a team of many people at Google who help and support us. And the idea is really to create access. Access to art, but not just art, to culture, to intangible heritage, to craft, to stories that are getting lost because they're not being documented, not being preserved, or not being communicated. So this is the platform. It's available on your mobile, tablet, laptop for free. And uh, what you, I've shown you already the variety of things you can access on this platform. But let me show you quickly the partners that we have. You know, we started with only 17 partners back in 2011. Actually, two of them from India, the NGMA and the National Museum. And I'm very happy to say that we have now won the confidence. Uh, Bhaskar, should we move on maybe quickly? And now we have won the confidence of over 1,500 museums, archives and foundations from 71 countries. These are from the biggest art galleries like MoMA to uh, you know, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Japan that is telling us about crafts in made in Japan, uh, to the Guggenheim Museum, to the Berlin Philharmonic, to music. It's, it's really not about defining culture in one particular way. It's about broadening the definition of what culture should mean for different people. And uh, you can enjoy all these partners and their amazing stories later. So we're going to, uh, and if you look on the map, you can see the distribution globally. And by the way, just so you know, I'm, I'm doing this in partnership with my colleague Pascar, who's wearing a really, really nice red tie over there, and is actually the person who's been doing a lot of the hard work on this project. So please bear with us if we are not in sync 100%. Uh, so Pascar, should we go perhaps now back to the homepage? Oh, okay, let's show India. Let's show our, our, our growth in India. In India, you know, it's not just been about finding cultural institutions and museums, but about really broadening the partner base. So we have 69 museums, archives, and foundations, private archives, government archives, and these partners have been telling some amazing stories, digitizing the content, and really connecting with a broader audience. One of my favorite projects has been with the Archaeological Survey of India. I think a project that we started in a small way, but has grown to over 200 sites that are now available for anybody in the world, uh, 284 actually, sites all across India that are documented. So this is just to give you a flavor of what you have. But you know, you can also do some fun stuff, by the way, on our app. You can take your selfie, it'll match you to an artwork. That was very famous a few months ago, uh, which I'm not gonna show you right now. Uh, you can also do nearby, and if you look at nearby and you're a tourist and you're walking around, you can start seeing, well, we are at the Rail Museum, so that's obviously number one, but you can also start seeing artworks that are being matched to the areas we are near. So if you click browse, you can start seeing, hey, you know, these are the different areas. So it's a new way of people getting into content rather than just finding the address and moving on. So I'm going to move on now very quickly to obviously why we're here and to talk about this stunning, and I can confidently say my favorite initiative over the last two years, the Indian Railways program, because I think it really took us into a new area of cultural heritage that we didn't really think would, would be for this platform. And then when the Google India team uh, with people like Piyush and Chetan came and told us, saying, hey, let's do a good, good, real storytelling idea on the Indian Railways, we said, let's do it. And what's come out, I think, is wonderful. So before I show it to you, we're going to play a very quick video, which has uh, some really great music designed by Bhaskar, I've heard. So let's play the video. <coughs>
Well, that's another project of ours with Incredible India, which you must watch later. But we are going to move on now. Uh, and this is what we unveiled today. Uh, a, a beautiful storytelling initiative that makes you, once again, if you weren't already, fall in love with the railways. That's what it's done to me since I've been looking at this project. It's, it's a complete love affair right now. Because what the project did is not just showed me the, the beautiful scenery of the tracks. Uh, over 150,000 kilometers of tracks, over a billion people it's serving. Yes, these are transactional information, but this project brought memories and has brought stories to the forefront rather than just the facts. And the first thing uh, I'm going to talk to you about is that in addition to the Indian Railways, we've also worked with uh, several other partners, a total of 20 partners, private uh, institutions like the Rail Enthusiast Society, uh, Chitrashala, and of course the Heritage Transport Museum. So really bringing different organizations together to tell one narrative. And what we're going to think of it like a book, all right, but uh, a book for the modern age. And essentially, if you're someone who wants a little structure, you can do it by the chapters. And the way we decided to focus was the journeys. So we've got over 150 amazing street view experiences of locations. That's 150,000 hours I think you can spend traveling around the path. You've got the people, which is my favorite part, and some of them are sitting here. I'm gonna to come to them in a second. You've got the heritage, which to be honest with you, I did not really appreciate until I started learning from this project. And of course, you've got what any engineering geek loves, the engineering, which I absolutely loved. And so now let's try and take you through a few of the highlights. I don't have time to take you through everything. It'll take a long time. But for an institution that has been around for 160 years, uh, to do a project uh, like this in two years, it's taken us two years to do this, I think is just the start. It's just the beginning, it's not the end. So please view this in that perspective. Uh, so, you know, I love this little quote from Mark Twain, which is about, you know, the fact that, you know, a journey that, take eight, that takes eight hours should actually take a week. And given the days we live in, where time is so expensive, you know, these guilty pleasures of sitting in a train, having a nice hot cup of tea, and someone serving you a lovely, lovely sandwich, and you're just enjoying the scenery, is, is what, you know, this, these memories bring back. And, you know, to start with, we obviously, give you an idea of the project, what it's all about. So if you scroll down, you will see the 151 rail views, which we are launching today for the first time in India. And these are just magnificent. We have two routes, which we've actually taken you on a journey with storytelling and narrative, the uh, Nilgiri Railways and the Kalka Shimla uh, line. We also have 55 stations that have been covered, uh, 16 tunnels, bridges, and many, many, many other facts, which I'm going to move on from. But it's comprehensive, and that's the main message. So let's move on, Bhaskar, try and we'll go a little bit faster now. And this is one of my favorite parts because it's really about those memories, those unforgettable journeys. And I'm gonna choose my favorite, everyone will have their own favorites. I'm gonna choose the Nilgiri Blue Mountain uh, train. And I didn't know that the team here in India, the Google team was actually doing this because they didn't tell me, and they don't know about my background and my past, but yesterday when I landed, uh, from a flight and I said, okay, let me look at all the different content. I started looking at this exhibition and I'm like, oh my God, I think I know that place. And so I keep going and then I realize that we have actually come to where I spent 13 to 14 years of my life in boarding school. That was my station, Ketty Station, where my father used to drop me and I used to cry saying, please don't send me to boarding school. So that station brought back some very pleasant and traumatic memories for me when I saw it and really, you know, put a smile on my face. And this whole story about this railway is about the fact, about the incline, about the beautiful scenery, about the role it's played in films. It's a wonderful, wonderful story taking you to the magic of the Nilgiris like never before. So explore it. It goes on for quite some time. So I'm going to move on from it and show you another exhibition which I thought was fantastic. But these are all expertly curated digital exhibitions. We've got over 120 or so of them, so you can experience them. Uh, this is really, uh, you could say, my favorite part of the project, the everyday heroes. Uh, these are the people who I would never really meet, and I would re never really know what it takes to run something as 
amazing as the railways. And they're all sitting here. We've got, I think, a few of them who've come from all across India uh, who are sitting here and their stories have been documented on the project. We've started with only 32. We're just getting started, but there are 32 everyday heroes who do a variety of functions. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite exhibitions uh, on Miss Wali. And that is Miss Wali in person, by the way. So. She is much better in real life, but the digital version is also great for those who can't meet her. So, Miss Wali, you know, is the kind of person who would catch me when I was in boarding school trying to take the train through Metropolitan. And essentially, because I didn't buy my ticket, I would be fined by the ticket inspector. But I learned about something about Miss Wali that was entertaining. Miss Wali is also. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say it. Let's surprise you. So, this is a story. Let's listen to the video. <laughs> just also been informed, just as Ms. Wali was singing that beautiful song, the Honorable Minister has joined us by live stream from uh, Bombay. But uh, my team is telling me that we, sorry? We'll go live after. So the Minister is letting me finish my presentation. Thank you, Minister. So, uh, this Ma Ms. Wali, by the way, doesn't just sing for us. She actually sings for the passengers and entertains them on this ride. So if you're ever taking the Metropolitan to Uti train, look out for Ms. Wali. Like this, there are amazing stories that you wouldn't really, you know, you wouldn't really know about and you wouldn't really un uh, find. And that's really one of the beauty beautiful parts of this project. The other everyday heroes that I love are these two guys, the trackmen. I always wondered what a trackman used to do because when I was a kid, I actually wanted to be a trackman. And I never really understood what is what is that what does the work actually involve? Because you know, as children you're fascinated by trains, by toy trains, by everything tracks. And this is the Shimla uh, Kalka uh, Express view. And here is Mr. Ram Charya and Mr. Subhash Chan. And we have a little video where they are going to explain. That's a fantastic photo. इस पटरी की जो रोडियां होती हैं इसको खोलते हैं और यहां के टूट फूट देख के हम इसको फिर पुनः जैसे थे वैसे पुनः निर्मित कर देते हैं सो भास्कर डू वी हैव अनदर क्लिप और वी मूविंग ऑन मैं ये थ्रू पैकिंग में हमें अच्छा लगता है so by the way, I was trying to figure out what that means actually, true packing. And someone explained it to me kindly during my rehearsal. So if you want to find out, please talk to him. I think he's in the crowd. There he is. So, a lot of great stories. I'm going to show you one more which I love, absolutely love, and then we'll move on very quickly. Let's watch Mr. Ghani the Lakhwas. <laughs> And he ran my army, Barti the Bayou. Ran my Barti, what a very man over there. Once I so the good news is Mr. Ghanikwas can say what he likes. Guess what? how old he is now. He is 104. A hundred and four legend of the Indian Navy. So please.
is, you know, you spend hours and, you know, this is what I mean about falling in love with the railways again, when you hear these stories of these amazing individuals. But we're going to move on to the next section now very quickly, and we're going to skip this, but this is a fantastic section that shows you the virtual tours of the Indian Railways. Uh, please see it later, because I have to move on a bit faster now. And we are going to go, Bhaskar, we are going to show you this video, which is actually a fantastic, uh, you know, intersection of art and architecture thanks to the railways. <laughs> 